Hi YouTube, making a short little video today of something I wanted to do to kind of customize some of my guns. You can see here my M&P 40 um, core slide right there and you're probably wondering what that stuff is. So uh, no outline for this one. I know that's not similar compared to what you've seen for the rest. I don't really need an outline because it's very short. So uh, main thing I wanted to do is add a little customization to my to my M&P and I did order a 9mm barrel for it recently and I wanted to be able to have a very easily identifiable you know distinguishing factor between the 9mm mags and the 40 mags so I looked up online about you know painting the the letters that are that are laser etched roll marked into the slide and whatnot and they suggested this little testers model paint you can get a bunch of different colors like this at Walmart uh, so you can see I used I used green for the 4357 mags. Of course, these aren't completely done. They're still drying. And you can actually use it on the little number indicators on the side too, which is really cool. I did that with my Ruger SR9C mags a while back, but unfortunately, those magazines were done with uh, fingernail polish. And even though it does dry a little bit quicker, I don't think it comes out nearly as sharp. It kind of smears a little bit. So uh, the testers is what I'm going with. So as you can see, using green for the 40 stuff, and then yellow for the nine millimeter stuff. And so the process, what I saw online that was really good, of course, shake it up first. I shook it just a second ago. So i um, get you a little, little zoom here to kind of show you what's going on. All right, so you see here, we got the, the lowered letters right here that say nine mil, the little uh, Smith & Wesson logo. So what you want to do is just get a little bit on here and kind of dab it across there let it let it soak in and then flatten it out kind of fill in your gaps here and the thinner you make it the better it the better it's going to come off it's going to come off a lot easier if you make it really thin so uh I, whoops i probably got a little too much there but you want to make it as thin as possible so that when it dries you don't have a whole lot a whole lot to wipe off so same thing for this for this smith and wesson logo here get y'all a better view just flatten it in there do a little swipe action with a toothpick. You could probably do it with a paintbrush, but then again, that'll uh, that'll probably put a lot more paint on there and make it more difficult to get off. So uh, after that step, you know, obviously you got to let it dry for a little while. This stuff does, does take a little bit longer to dry. So the next step in the process, obviously, once it's fully dried, you need to make sure this is fully dry because it will be a little bit sticky uh, if it isn't. So you have to let it sit for a little while. After it's fully dry, that's what it's going to look like after you wipe it off. That was probably the uh, the section I used the least amount of paint on. It was the easiest to wipe off. That looks close to dry, but it's not yet. So uh, you want to put just a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol or like a nail polish remover or something on the. I use these blue little shop rags. I find they're really good for cleaning your guns and you know, anything else that's going to be a little more dirty. Take a little bit more abrasion than your regular paper towels, but a regular paper towel would work fine. Dab a little bit of this on there, get it on the rag, and just, just push really hard and swipe it across. And what you'll notice is the, the uh, paper towel actually won't go into the lower part of the letters right there. So it's just going to take the, the surface color off, and you're going to be left with this. So once all these are dry, especially like on my slide two here, I probably put a little bit too much paint there. As you can see, I should have made that a little bit thinner. So once that dries and I do the other side, I'll probably make it really, really thin as well. But that's the process, and I, I feel like it gives it kind of a cool, a cool customized look. Um, you can use fingernail polish. Uh, others have suggested that, but I think this goes into the spaces a lot easier. It's not as sticky, and uh, it, it probably cures a little bit, a little bit stronger, a little bit more durable. So, anyway, short video, no, uh, no outline needed or anything. But uh, once I get this done and I get my nine millimeter barrel, I'll be doing a an M and P core update. And I should be doing the same with my car as well, just to give you my take after having it for a little while from the first review. So I'll be doing an update on this. You'll see the finished product with both barrels and stuff once I get to there. So I'm not quite there yet, but uh, waiting for it to come in the mail. So once I get a little bit more in and get this working, I will catch up back with y'all. So if you have any questions about this, just leave it in the comments and I'll get to it when I can. Thanks for watching.